Staying with Battleground USA now, there appears to be a rift brewing in the Kennedy clan over who to support as the Democratic presidential nominee in 2016. Some are backing Hillary Clinton, while others want to endorse Elizabeth Warren. Neither woman has declared they'll even run, but still, if they do, does the Kennedy name even matter anymore? Joining us now for more on this is Michael Diamond, a Sun News contributor who keeps his fingers and eyes glued to everything political. And let's start right there. Kennedy endorsement, does it even matter anymore? You know, absolutely not. I mean, if you look at the 2008 election, uh, it was considered to be a big moment. And for television and political theater, it certainly was when you had uh, both Ted Kennedy and the late Ted Kennedy and Carolyn Kennedy on stage endorsing Barack Obama. But that was, of course, several weeks after he won the Iowa caucus and proved that he was a candidate who could win. So, you know, if you want to look at what actually moved that election, I think it had a lot more to do with the Oprah Winfrey endorsement <laughs> before the Iowa vote yeah. than the Kennedy endorsement Several a few weeks, weeks after. So Barack Obama was already a factor to be reckoned with. I mean, and f as far as the split within the family, again in 2008, we had Ethel Kennedy, the widow of Robert Kennedy, and one of her sons, and Doris Chris Dodd, quite early on in the process. <laughs> uh, probably a name many people have forgot. He's out of the Senate now, out of <laughs> politics, and did not do very well. So uh, long answer, no. I, I want to play now a clip of Ted Kennedy, the late Ted Kennedy, endorsing Barack Obama for the Democratic nomination back in 2008. Let's watch that now. Every time I've been asked over the past year who I would support in the Democratic primary, my answer has always been the same. I'll support the candidate who inspires me, who inspires all of us, who can lift our vision and summon our hopes and renew our belief that our country's best days are still to come. I found that candidate And I think you have too. <laughs> so, and as you say, Michael, it's a great point. That clip is from late January 2009. Iowa caucuses are like January 3rd. Oh, so exactly. that is about, yeah, two or three weeks after Obama would have won Iowa. This is all just political theater then, I guess. It's the Kennedys maybe trying to make themselves still that Democratic dynasty. Absolutely. They're reinserting themselves into this race. And, you know, even back in 2008, Ted Kennedy certainly mattered in uh, the Democratic primaries and nomination. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you look back at 2004, John Kerry had to come from behind win. Ted Kennedy was his Senate colleague from uh, uh, Massachusetts, and he showed up in Iowa on caucus day and shook hands as people walked into the gym. Ted Kennedy, unfortunately, is gone now, so, you know, he's not there. Carolyn Kennedy, the other Kennedy who I think personally matters, is the daughter of JFK. She's in Japan. She's also already signaled if Hillary is to run, that's where she's going to line up. So yeah. I think the family fighting about who can be more liberal, I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. It also breaks with the tradition of the Kennedys traditionally being right-wing Democrats. And that's an interesting point. You and I were chatting about this before the show. Um, they are now, I mean, by endorsing Elizabeth Warren, you would be endorsing the far left of the Democratic Party. Yeah, precisely. Coming from what was maybe once the sort of blue dog Democrat tradition on the right. Well, in 1960, uh, Joe Kennedy, the patriarch, uh, told Richard Nixon that if uh, Jack Kennedy lost the Democratic nomination, the Kennedy family support and money would be for Nixon. They wow. were friends and supporters <laughs> of uh, Republican Senator Joe McCarthy of uh, the uh, Communist <laughs> Witch Hunt. So they yeah. were certainly right wing. And, you know, if Massachusetts in the 19, uh, you know, 20s, 30s, and 40s hadn't been a Republican establishment state, mm -hmm. the Kennedys likely would would have ended up as Republicans, but because they weren't welcome in the establishment, because they were Catholic and knew mm -hmm. money, they became Democrats. But uh, yeah. it was not ideological. They've moved to the left. Ted Kennedy, for much of his career in the Senate, was pro-life. So, yeah. you know, it's a flip-flop on issue after issue. Mm -hmm. And the other interesting piece, and this is really from the New York Post that's first reporting this potential rift in the family, uh, it appears as though both Elizabeth Warren and Hillary Clinton have gone out to Hyannisport, the Kennedy compound, to audition. Uh, for the role. I mean, it just all seems a little bizarre. It's almost demeaning to think that you're a potential candidate for president of the United States and you're going to visit someone at their summer house <laughs> to uh, get their support. That said, I've been to Cape Cod and it's a lovely place to visit for the summer, so certainly no harm in going there. And there were a few good points in the uh, New York Post, Post article, you know, that both uh, having access to the Hyannisport compound and the JFK library is certainly very mm -hmm. good for fundraising. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be do or die, but certainly it's an advantage if you can invite people to a fundraiser at the home of a candidate, certainly yeah. very powerful. Okay, well great, Michael Diamond, thanks very much for joining us with that.